All right, mate, Tom Carr. Yes. A very delicate uh, coconut based soup. Yeah. All right, so we're just going to be making a, a stock of the coconut cream, uh, equal parts between that and some chicken stock. Beautiful. And then some classic Thai aromats. Uh, Galangal, ginger, lemongrass, kapha lime. Nice. So that's where like you know, a lot of the flavor comes from. We're just gonna poach it off and steep it yep. like a like a tea. Yep. Okay, so that's the kind of effect that we're going for. It's a very gentle cook from Re what I remember. Like really you, gentle. You don't want to boil it almost. No. You just want to just warm it through. And you don't want to cook it for too long either. Yeah. You, you sort of, you begin to lose the vibrancy out of those aromats. Nice. So I'll kick off on the stock. Yep. Which is really, really simple. Full tin of coconut cream. This is like yes. some other recipes we've done before. If there was an element that we're putting in here that you don't like, leave it out. Yeah. You can sort of choose your own Use the base of the stock and the cream and then... And then go for it. You know, if you want to bulk it out, a bit of tofu, some prawns, yeah. um, some chicken, anything like, yeah. like that. But this is just a nice stock standard base yeah. for you guys to, to make it your own, essentially. It. Thinly slice it, chuck it in, just poach it as well. Exactly. It'll be nice and tender. Yep. Yeah. So nice. I'll kick off on the aromats. So I'm yep. going to go with Galangal. Um, halve the cherry tomatoes. Love it. And then with the oyster mushrooms, we'll just pull them apart. Just by hand. Nice. Just tear them up. Also be careful with Galango because it is incredibly hard. tough. Mm. Can be quite woody. So just take your time with it. This so is these, quite a quick dish, quick, easy. So quick. Like, and, and it's it's because it you you actually don't get better results for cooking it longer. Yeah. You, yep. Like a lot of the time if you're cooking a curry or a soup or a stew or a braise, yep. Yep. the longer the better. This one, it wants to be, you know, quite yep. a quite a quick turnaround. Get it on, get the flavours in there, season it, get it out, eat it. Nice. So ginger. Galango, lemongrass, same deal. All these ingredients are pretty readily available. This is something you can do a quick, you know, Absolutely. weeknight dinner, really yep. quick and easy, fast. We're not we're not living in a in a world where these are foreign anymore. No. These are day to day no. items um, that are readily available. I so, love yeah. that they're like common day ingredients, like kaffir lime. Now you have in your fridge or your freezer, freezer. frozen, ready yeah. to go. Absolutely. Yeah, that's oh, great. All right, here we go. This is where it all starts to happen. Man, it's already smelling delicious. So we're just going to rip up these kaffir lime leaves. Nice. We've got about four or five of those in there. Yep. Do you want the chili yet? Yeah, throw that yep. chili in. So chili that's in. two bird's eyes. It's yep. just been finely sliced. And you want a little bit of heat with Tom Carr. It's a little bit of heat. You want some warmth. Yeah. yeah. That's another reason why you don't we don't fry any of this off. We don't make a paste and, and do what we did yep. like when we've done curries before. Uh, you want it to to remain quite pure, yes. quite white. Yeah, nice. Um, that's, that's one of the key components Love of that. this dish. You want to keep it really pure looking mm. and pure tasting. All right, that's come up to a boil. I'm just gonna move that to a smaller smaller burner. Yep. And then we'll just let that tick away. Love it. All right, uh, you're all prepped there. Mate, that's, all prepped, ready to go. That's a lot of <laughs> Is it? I'm just following the leader. Half of those or something. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably, yeah. All right. A really good handful. Yep. We'll get in there. Okay. Um, we'll use the rest yeah. for later. You, they'll, they'll save and use for yeah. another Mushroom dish later. On toast for breakfast, um, mate. My lunch. Half dinner. All right. Laughing. That's been on for about five or six minutes now. Very nice. Uh, it's smelling good. Quick taste. See how it's sitting. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah nice. really fresh, really nice. vibrant. That's what we want. Yep. Now we just need to season it. What I'm going to do first, though, before we season it, tomatoes will go in. Yep. Do you want to? Tommy's? Yep. Beautiful. So the reason why I'm throwing them in first before I season it, they've got a lot of water content. So they're going to break down, yep. disperse water throughout that stock. That's going to change the seasoning dramatically. Bit of acidity, bit of sweetness. Exactly. Yeah. So we get them in there first, then have another taste, see how it's situated. Mm -hmm. Then we can go fish sauce, sugar, lime juice to Beautiful. finish it off. All right, no, it's good. No, beautiful. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Um, fish sauce. Yep. So that was, what do you reckon, two tablespoons yeah, of fish sauce? So. Yep. One of these little cubes of palm sugar. Yep. Um, do you want to just throw a pinch of a pinch salt, salt in? Yep. Yeah. Nice. All right, now, what are we going to do? Get the sugar in. Yep. And that's just going to melt that so they can go in really quickly at the end. Yep. So that's going to work its way through. Yeah. Now, I'll turn that off the heat because yeah. last one to go in is a, just a little squeeze of fresh lime. Beautiful. And I don't want to put that in and boil it through. No. I don't want to split the coconut cream. Yeah. So you're just going to... It's like they're going to be... All citrus you want to add last minute. Last Even if you're minute. cooking it a little bit, it's always last minute so you don't lose any of that punch and that delicious citrus flavour. On the money. Nice. All right, do you just want to throw those mushies Mushy. yep. in the base of the bowl? Nice. And then I'm just going to, I'll pour the hot stock straight over the top. Oh, Oyster like mushrooms, that. super delicate. Yep. Don't need to be cooked a whole deal. We just want to warm them up. Don't taste like oysters though. Funnily enough, no. <laughs> you know the little story why they're called oyster mushrooms? Yeah, you, mate? no, I don't. No? No, they look like oysters. There we go. Yeah. All right. There's that hot stock over That's the top. That's amazing. Now, traditionally, yep. you see all these bits of galangal and ginger and lemongrass. Yeah. They don't get strained off. Yeah, no. They, if you want to, you know, if you want it to be just a straight yep. soup and you don't want to, you don't want to go to that that uh, 
extent, yeah. co committing to it and going old school, going traditional. Strain them out, no problems. But they look nice. That's how it's done. Yeah. That's how they do it over there. It's a really enjoyable way to, to mm. eat it. Having those chunks in there, it also kind of slows you down as well. Yeah, you've got to dodge you've got to, them. Yeah, you've got to dodge game. them a bit. You've got to pick around them. So do you just want to pick a few yep. leaves of cori? I'm just, just going to shred some of this kaffir lime. That's, you've got to have, if you like this sort of food, you have to have kaffir lime in your freezer at home. It Absolutely. freezes so well. If you're fortunate enough to live in a beautiful part of the uh, world, like no, Queensland, <laughs> you heard of it? Yeah. Kaffir lime for the day, in, everyone's bro. got one. You need to get on there. <laughs> All right, mate, taste. We've got to Let's taste this. Mate, I don't want to get Tom Carried away with this, but that is delicious. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, guys. It's been another great day in the kitchen. I know you and I have had an absolute delicious ball. Day. Absolutely. Uh, I can tell by the smile on your face <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you're gripping that. Oh, this is coming with me. I'm out of here. Michael's <laughs> got dinner. Do me a favour. Always love your food.